It's time to ball, y'all. I'm Stuart Scott, and it is almost time to do the thing. Jason Terry is going to show us how a ball handler is supposed to break down a defense. The crossover, the spin, the hop step, the reverse. He's got all those mixtape moves in the body of a lead baller. Iso motion forever, baby. Heat Mavericks. Yeah, you better get the phone and call somebody. Welcome, everyone. We're here at the American Airlines Center in Dallas. The Dallas Mavericks will face off against the visiting Heat here on ESPN the worldwide leader in sports. Hello, everybody. I'm Bob Fitzgerald here with Bill Walton, and Michelle Tafoya will join us later. The players are getting loosened up for the start of the game. Bill, who needs to come up big for their team to win? Well, basketball is definitely a team game, but you can't win it all without great players. Dirk Nowitzki is one of the most dominant power forwards in the entire league. His mid-range shooting touch is just so impressive. If you leave him open for even a nanosecond, he'll bury the J with no hesitation. And on the other side of the court is another big-time player. Shaquille O'Neal is an immense talent, clearly one of the very top players in the NBA. He has that knack for making the right decision offensively. When he's on, he can manipulate defenders like puppets. Thanks, Bill. Well, it's time for tip-off. Let's get underway. The Mavericks take the tip off and they'll set up the offense. Michelle Tafoy has some extra info for us. Michelle? Thanks, Tom. I spoke with the Mavericks before the teams came out and he told me that they're planning to really get after it defensively. They could do it too, creating turnovers, shutting down shooters, and basically wreaking havoc out there. It's going to be a hard fought game. But back to you guys. Thanks, Michelle. Jones. Nowitzki pulls it down inside. Well, he missed, and it should come as no surprise to any of us. That was an extremely difficult shot, and honestly, they could have gotten a lot better look than that. The three ball falls in by Stackhouse. They bring it up court, 226 left in the first. Passes to Butler. Passes it to Wade. Seven on the shot clock, feeds it to the middle. Throws the shot out of this area, too. Nowitzki stole that one away. That's a fanciest dunk in the world, but it got the job done. Inbound pass. The Heat bring it up forward. We have an eight-point game. The Butler. Pass to O'Neal. To stop the run, Nowitzki skies for the rebound. Given his sorry shooting cut, you'd think he'd know better than putting that shot up. Well, there's another one. Great finish by Terry. They bring it up court, 132 left in the first. Swings it to Butler. Dan Peter ripped it down. Hits the left rim and out. Skips it to Jones. Bounce pass to O'Neal. The tough shot. The defensive rebound by Finley. Shaquille O'Neal chose an awfully difficult shot there. I can see it if he had to pop the clock or something, but in that situation, they should have tried for something a lot better. Lays it right in. Definitely a first-rate play. He was able to take control and get the best scoring opportunity he had available. The Heat working up court and they trail 12 to 0. Fires. Puts too much on it. They bring it up court. 32 seconds left in the first quarter. The long three was nailed by Terry. The inbound to Wade. The Heat work it up court and they'll try to end the run. Four second differential between the shot and game clock. Feeds it down low. To the rack. Bricks off right arm. They're running. Dwayne Wade has got to be upset. That one 
Well, anytime you get right to the rim like that, it's tough to miss. The last year was nailed by Terry. The buzzer beater, it's on. We're at the end of one, and it's already a double-digit lead. The score, 18 to zero. to start the second quarter. Pass to Jones. Here comes the double team. The pass to O'Neal. O'Neal. Nice rebound by the 10-year vet out of North Carolina. That's how you rise up and throw it down. You can't get more high percentage than that. Court and they're down by 20. From the strike, snatched down inside by Dan Pierce. They've been dominating the boards, and that's a major reason why they hold this sizable lead. It's all about denying the other team's second chance opportunities, and of course, creating them yourself on the offensive glass. They bring it up court, 217 left in the second. Terry is tagged with a reach, and that's his first foul of the game. Passes to Wade. Pass to Jones. Drives to the hole. Robinson nice rips it down. This is like that, or a real way to turn the band to get it quick. Sinks it. in his third rebound. From deep three-point range, snaps down from way up high by O'Neal. On the break, it's ripped down by Terry. From just inside the arc. Definitely a good play here. Let's see that one from a different angle. Bringing up court, and things are not looking good for them at the moment. The Butler passes to Wade. Seven on the shot clock. Dishes it to Butler. Denied by Nowitzki, and that's his fifth block of the contest. Being a seven-footer automatically makes you a stopper in this. One hit by Terry. The Heat work it up court, and they haven't hit a shot from the floor. Swings it to Butler. Pass to Jones. The skip pass to Wade. Five on the shot clock. To stop the drought, buries it. You always want to work the ball inside. Your post game goes to another level when you can keep the defense guessing at all times. The Mavericks bring it up court, and they're up by 26. Fires it way up court. The quick shot. It falls. Great pass. Way to find the open man. They bring it up court. 28 seconds left in the half. Seven second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. He's doubled up. Pass cross court. The tough shot. Bricks it nice off the back defense. of the rim. They'll Let's probably go. hold for the last shot. Get position. Get on the offensive player. Launches beyond the arc. Hits the left of the rim and gets the friendly back. Inbound pass to Wade. Launches it. Can't get it. And that concludes the first half. The score, 33 to 2. While we have a bit of time here, Bill, let's break down the first half with our ESPN Game Track review. Jason Terry has been absolutely automatic. He's got very, 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 very
They do well to keep the ball in his hand as the game continues. Shaquille O'Neal has been playing his heart out on the other side, but they're still trailing big. They'll need to play terrific basketball and get a few lucky breaks in order to pull this one. Thanks, Bill. Without further ado, it's time to start the third. Leitner inbounds it to start the second half. Let's send it down to our sideline reporter, Michelle Tafoya. Michelle, what do you got? Thanks, Fitz. Well, during the half, I spoke with the head coach of the Mavericks. He said that although they hold the lead, he thinks that they can do better. They've been shooting the lights out from downtown, and he told me he's got his fingers crossed that they stay hot for the rest of the game. Guys, let's send it back to you. Thank you, Michelle. Nowitzki yanked down the rock for the defensive rebound. The long deep ball was off the mark by Terry. Jason Terry seems to have forgotten his game. Fitz hitting deep threes is not his forte. He's only hurting his team by trying those shots. Bounce pass to Jones. Terry was parked down low and got hit with a three-second call. And it's good. Off the inbound. Dampier crashes the defensive glass and collects the rock. From deep. O'Neal grabs the rebound, but that's only his second so far. Passed away. Skip pass to Butler. Pass to Jones. Top of the key. There's the sixth rebound by Nowitzki. Eddie Jones doesn't really have good touch from mid-range, so that's always going to be a risky shot for him. Shoots, drops in the pretty way. Sometimes you just have to force things to create your own offense. You did a nice job of going inside to make something out of nothing. They bring it up court. A minute 45 left in the third quarter. Here comes the double team. The Leitner. Leitner. He can't hit the jump after freeing himself up with the pump fake. You have to love how he threw down that reverse here. Not any players in any league could make that kind of play. The Heat bring it up court and they're behind. 37 to 3. Skips it to Butler. Passes to Jones. Swings it to Wade. Pass to O'Neal. Steps back. Five on the shot clock. Stackhouse snaps the inside rebound. Shaquille O'Neal could have definitely found himself in That's when he was in the stun that goes in. Stuffed home with authority by Dan Beer. The pass to Jones. Dishes inside. Shoots from the post. It's in. Impressive play, Fitz. This one's worthy of a second look. Terry works it up court, and he can pick up his 20th point this trip down the floor. From about 16, pinpoint oh, nine by the six-year veteran out of Arizona. O'Neal inbound to Wade. The Heat advance it, and they trail by 36. The bounce pass to Butler. Goes up. Nowitzki grabs the inside rebound. Rasal Butler went up strong in the lane, but with that defensive pressure, it was too tough a shot to make. Nice effort. Beautiful three ball by Dampier. The Heat bring it up court. They're shooting 8% from the floor. Backs in. Bounces it to Jones. Off balance shot. Finley snatches the ball down from way above the rim. Takes the shot. Money on the jump shot. Fires up a shot from the opposite baseline. No dice. We've just finished the third quarter, and it's a blowout. The score, 46 to 5.
Henderson throws it in to start the fourth quarter. Fades away. Drops. Gee, where are you? Hey, Gee, come on, man. Even if the defender plays you well, you still have to play your game and hit shots. That's what he did here, Fitz, and it paid off. Pick him up. To Leitner. The tough shot. Yanked down off the defensive boards by Henderson. From deep three-point range, connects. Wow, you rarely see him launching threes, particularly from that far out. But he somehow found a way to knock it down. That's a heck of a shot. They bring it up court, 228 left in the fourth. Pass to Daniels. Shoots from way back there. Money. Wade heads up court. He hasn't hit a shot from downtown. The handoff to Wade to end the run. Clanks it off the front of the rim. The Mavericks working up court from the floor. From deep three-point range, on the money. That's called working for the highlight reel. And here comes his reward, Fitz. The Heat working up court, and they've really been struggling to keep this one close. Tries to post him up. The pass to O'Neal. Booth steals the pass. Tosses it up court. Works it out. Rips it down. That was a real power dunk all the way fits. He really bears down when he gets near that hoop and throws it down with authority. The Heat bring it up court. They're shooting 7% from the floor. Passes to Butler. Pump fakes. Pulls up. No good, and they continue to trail by double figures. Ill-advised shot there, no question about it. That is just so exasperating. The three was nailed by Finley. They bring it up court. A minute, 27 seconds left in regulation. Pass to Leitner. Leitner, O'Neal, falls in the rebound. That's only his third. Misses the tough shot. Goes back up. Rebounded inside by Henderson. Here's the shot. Nice little play there. Not the fanciest dunk in the world, but it got the job done. The Heat bring it up court, and they'll try to stop the run. Feeds it to Butler. Takes it in. Leitner pulls it down inside. Fifth the layup. Fitz, they just can't get it to fall here in the fourth. With the shot, Leitner hauls in his third rebound. Blows the layup. Butler blows the layup. Can he get it? Gets back, nice but defense. no bucket. Let's go. Mavericks advance it. They're shooting 70% from three-point range. Timbers it in. Once he got inside that time, there was no doubt about it. He was going to throw it down. Fires it way up court. The 10-footer. It falls short. Block them out next The Mavericks bring it up court, and they're up big. Beyond the arc. Good, and they are way out in front. Put the ball in his hands on the offensive end, and good things are going to happen. He is extremely dangerous. Eight-second differential between the shot and game clock. KG up and under, but it's off by Shaq. Jacks up a three, gets the kind roll off the front of the rim. Inbound pass. The Heat work it up court. They're shooting 5% from the floor. Packs down. The tough shot. Too much mustard on that one. From downtown, impressive trade by the 10-year vet out of Wisconsin. From half court, not going down. There's the final buzzer, and that's the end of the game. The Mavericks blow out the heat, 75 to five. A pretty lopsided game, Bill. You can say that again. The Mavericks played well today. Offensively, they were in attack mode, shooting at a high percentage, and on defense, they really hustled and contested every shot. They really put it together on both ends of the floor and earned this win. Thank you, Mr. Walton. It's now time to see the player of the game. Finley had a great game. He finishes with 21 points, three rebounds, and he's our ESPN player of the game. That's it, we have ourselves a winner. It's been a long, long trip to the NBA Finals, but it's been a great, great ride. 
So for Bill Walton, Michelle Tafoya, and everyone here at ESPN, I'm Bob Fitzgerald saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you next year.